last week we talked about the subcard problem. The following is indeed a small vibration up and down. Have you checked it? Please click the video up here for the solution steps. Today we'll continue our August topic, the subcard alarms and solution. Is that the cutting head is always venting but does not move. Here, please make sure your cutting system is subcut. If no, probably the video is not what you need. Any doubt or question, please leave it in the comment below. I will try to reply you as soon as possible. Before we get into the main chapter, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me a like. Thanks a lot. The same, let's take 20 seconds to see the map first. Please don't go away. I've been in explaining the solutions for subcard alarms and issues for a period. Here, I want to note something. Those videos are just for reference, not the personal or customized guidance for your laser problems. If your laser is under warranty, please do remember to consult with your supplier first. Here, if you can learn something from my videos, it would be a great honor for me. And please share my channel with your friends if you like me or my channel. Thank you again. Okay, now let's begin our tour. If we find the cutting head is always venting but doesn't make any motion, here we need to go into the layer parameter settings to check whether we have enabled the peers. We need to check in two cases. One is we have set peers in parameters and another is no peers. If there's no peers, we should move to the global parameter, default settings, to check whether the delay is set to large. Normally, we don't need to change the data here, just to keep what is at the very first. If we never change any data here, or the values are all reasonable, we need to reinstall the subcard software. And when installing, we need to tick default PLC process and see whether the problem is gone. If the issue is still there, a customized inspection is necessary. Contact the supplier or me. If we changed some data here or some values are set too large, like more than 10,000, please revise them properly and then see whether the problem is gone. If the issue is still there, a customized inspection is necessary, contact the supplier or me. If we have set peers in the layer parameter settings, we need to check whether the max height of peers is larger than the Z following range. We can click follow. At the current position, check the Z value in BCS100 while following. Then we need to compare the max height of peers and the Z value in BCS100 while following. Which one is larger? Let's see if the value in BCS100 is 36.04, but the max height of peers is 10 millimeter. Here, the peers is larger than the Z range. Let's see if the value in BCS100 is 3.21, but the peers height is 10 millimeter. Here, peers is less than the Z range. If the max height of peers is larger than the Z value in BCS100 while following, 
we need to recite the Z range on the tiers parameters. After the step, if the issue is still there, a customized inspection is necessary. Contact the supplier or me. If the max height of the tiers is less than the Z value in BCS100 we are following, we should move to the global parameter default in settings, check whether the delay is set to large. Normally, we don't need to change the data here, just to keep what is at the very first. If we changed some data here or some values are set to large, like more than 10,000, please revise them properly and then see whether the problem is gone. If the issue is still there, a customized inspection is necessary. Contact the supplier or me. If we never change any data here or the values are all reasonable, we need to try to change max follow distance and then try whether the modification is valid. If the modification is invalid, we need to reinstall the SAPCAD software. And when installing, we need to take default PLC and see whether the problem is gone. If the issue is still there, a customized inspection is necessary. Contact the supplier or me. If the modification is valid, Probably the issue is the capacity. We can recite max follow distance in global parameter or replace a cutting height. If it still shows the modification is invalid, we need to check whether the brake is connected to the height controller. If it's connected, the brake needs to be connected to the switching power supply or the driver. And then see whether the problem is gone. If the issue is still there, a customized inspection is necessary. Contact the supplier or me. What topic do you want to know in September? Please leave it in the comment below. I'd like to hear some suggestions from you. Thank you for joining me here today. I will see you next Tuesday here on my channel. But what is it? Let's see. Bye.